Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So I've got a new device. This is the Mixtar H2. This video isn't about this, but it is an amazing device. It has got a lot of I.O. I will open this in the review video. I am really amazed about it. Uh, so it has got the RK3568. So four cores, it has the four small cores of the RK3588. But it also has all the I.O. the RK3588 has. So uh, this is great. This has got some mini PCIe. This has got M.2, this has got SATA, this has got about everything you can think of, but this video isn't about this. So, so in the last video I reviewed this, the Mixer Blade 3, but there is one thing I didn't like about it, and that was this. So this is Flippy Flappy, so I bought something new for that. So here it is. So this is mini PCIe to four times SATA. So with this I can put in my SATA and I can screw it down. Let me find a screw for this. It does fit. Yes. So now it is flippy flappy. That is great. So I was again using the Mikotronics Mini just because of that. Every time I moved it, it was uh, out of it and I didn't want to break it because I could have shorted something over here with this if that would have gone on there like that. So I really wanted this. It was expensive. It was I think a bit more than 40 euros for this thingy. But I really wanted it, so now I can connect. Oh, I also got something else. So let me first connect my SSD. One terabyte. And I will also connect my two terabyte SSD over here. So I also bought this. So this one I had. This is one times SATA power from a USB so 5 volts only but I only need 5 volts and I bought this one so this is a, a splitter so this is a splitter it goes to 4 times SATA from one so I can put this in here and plug it into a USB power source okay now let's power one of these okay now let's connect everything and now let's hope it works that's something strange. My display turns off when I turn on this. My display from my PC. And it is turning on. And here we are. And here I've got my one terabyte SSD. Yay, it works. So let's do a speed test. So one terabyte Q benchmark. The write speed isn't that good, but the read speed is normal. 
That's strange. Well, the read speed is very good. It's just the right speed that isn't perfect. But I can do with that. So, let me shut down my NanoPi R6S. So that is my fast NAS until now. So this will be my fast NAS and my main desktop. So I will have uh, my one terabyte SSD, my two terabyte SSD that's now on my uh, fast NAS and my one terabyte NVMe. So I will have them four terabytes on such a small device and I can also use the EMMC from 128 gigabytes that's not big but well enough room to put some games on it so I am very happy with this very happy extremely happy it was very expensive to buy this I didn't find it cheaper it was from Amazon I will put a link here in the description for it, uh, it isn't affiliated but well. So I'm very happy it works, this was just a low effort video after making my Kados Film 3 video where I put a lot of effort into it for very little views. So please like this video if you like it, if you don't like it, well you don't like it. So uh, see you all later, bye!